In this video, I'm going to show you the best settings for gaming if you're running an Intel graphics card. So this is going to give you a higher FPS and just overall better performance. Now, the first thing we need to do is open up an internet browser. And from a search box, we're going to type in Intel graphic drivers and press enter. You can then click on this top website, which is download Intel drivers. You then need to go and click on the get started button and go and download the Intel driver and support assistant. Once it's finished downloading, you can click on your downloads folder and open up this file. You can then click on accept and install and then just wait a couple of seconds while this installs onto your computer. You then need to agree to the terms and conditions and click install and press accept. Now this can take a few minutes so you'll just need to be patient. Once it's finished, click on launch. Now if there's any updates found for your specific Intel graphics card, then it's going to be listed underneath software updates. So just make sure to go and download and install any pending updates and once you've done this you can go and close out of this window. Now the next thing we need to do is go and optimize some of the settings on our computer. So go and open up the start menu and then click on settings. In the left hand side select gaming and click on game bar. Make sure the game bar is turned off and disabled and come back over to the previous window. You can then click on game mode and you want to make sure this is turned on. You can then click on apps from the left hand side and we're going to click on startup. Now just go through these list of applications and try disabling as many of these as you can. So these are apps that automatically start up when you first turn on your computer and these can actually cause your computer to run much slower. Now once you've done that you can go in close out of this window. The next thing we need to do is open back up the start menu and search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and click on this. Now click on adjust for best performance and then go and check the boxes next to show thumbnails instead of icons. Also smooth edges of screen fonts and then you can press apply and open. Okay. You can then open back up the start menu and search for disk cleanup and click on this tool. Make sure your C drive is selected and press OK. You then need to go and check the boxes next to all of these different items. Once you've selected everything, you can press OK and then press delete files. Now the next thing you'll need to do is open up the start menu and search for Microsoft Store and click on this window. In the search box, type in the word Intel and press search. You then need to make sure you have this app installed, which is the Intel graphics software. So so I've already got this installed, so I'm just going to press open. Now from this app, go and click on graphics on the left hand side. Click on the drop down next to frame synchronization and select application choice. Make sure the image sharpening is turned off. And for the 3D rendering, we can go and turn on this feature. Now for the quality, this should be set to 50%. You can then click on display in the left hand side. You can then scroll down to saturation and we're going to increase this to 60%. Now this will give you better visuals when you're playing your games. For both the brightness and the contrast, make sure these are set to basic. And once you've applied all of these settings, you can go and close out of this window. The final thing we need to do is open up the start menu and click on settings, click on system from the left hand side, and then click on power and battery. Now click on power mode, Click on the drop down next to plugged in and make sure this is set to best performance. You also want to do the same for on battery as well. Now, once you've done this, you can go and restart your computer and that should now give you the best FPS and performance. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.